Welcome back to Fager Bros Gaming um, to our next episode of Earthbound. This is David. I'm Jake. And let's get excited. We're heading back to Tucson. We just rescued Paula in the last episode. And we took on the Mondo Mole after defeating Car Painter. And got our second melody in our soundstone. So we now have two melodies in our soundstone. Let's go ahead and take a listen. See how much of the song we have. And there it is. <laughs> Real catchy. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of going for it. Now we just gotta trek back, leave Happy Happy Village behind. We don't ever need to come back here again. <laughs> <clears throat> but we gotta go through Peaceful Rest Valley, back to Tucson, return Paula to her parents. And that's when she decides to join Holy us. Holy crap. <laughs> yes, yeah, it would have been a good start. Yeah, we don't need any of this business. We don't want to deal with these Not trees. Since you got Paula up with that Yeah, but I don't want to mess with the territorial oaks. They blow up at the end and nobody wants to deal with that. But we do want to go down here and get this couple life noodles we didn't get on the way in. And it kind of worked out anyway because you wanted to avoid all the scrubs. Yeah, this is fine. We'll take these guys. So, Jake, what's what's new for your week? My week? Yeah. Uh, nothing really. I did the same thing I do every week, which is work and wait until the weekend. It's mm -hmm. the best time. Second recording session. We're off. Flying in this game already? Yeah. Well, it's going a lot better now. Yeah. We, we, it did not go so smoothly. <laughs> Early on. But now yeah. I feel like we're cruising right now. Well, outside of having a cold now. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to heal now, so. Yeah, it's, it's easy. <coughs> Clear those off just to make sure. All you use is PP4 anyway. To... Healing right now, especially going through this stuff. We don't need anything else. Man, there's just so many guys here. Just take them out. <laughs> now, long work week for me as well. But it's always exciting getting to come back to this game. So many good, good memories and good. Good feelings playing this game. That is definitely beats work. That's for sure. It's, that's not our thing to do. <coughs> At least only one of you guys got a cold this time. Yeah. I'm trying not to cough. No, oh, I didn't sneeze. heal it up. We're fine. We'll take out the spinning robot. These guys are way easier going on the way out than they were coming on the way in. Well, yeah, we're hitting... Ness is hitting for double damage than what he was, so... And then with Paula adding in, it really... Yeah, it makes it way easier. Yeah, it goes quick. And you pretty much want them to hit Ness every single time. Go ahead, just use... I get... Person that's just flowing around. I'll throw those in. Because Ness has like double yeah. uh, HP as Paul. He will Go ahead and grab this butterfly. Of the game. Paula is definitely like the traditional mage. They don't get a lot of HP. That's a live tree. At least it's got a green. Yeah. It's not going to help in this case. Unless you can one shot it. No, even if you one shot, it, still blows, up. it blows up no matter what. Size spells here. Go ahead and throw a fire. I think this is the first time we've cast it, so. Nope, there it goes. Burst into flames. And this is where you have to have rolling damage. Yeah, otherwise you'd be instantly dead. Oh, quick level up for net. We're only 19? I didn't think we were that yeah. high level already. Oh, going, doing that mole like, boosts you up a lot. I mean, you can wait and come back and do that mole, but it's just a pain. But, uh, wait. Well, and then just coming back and we're 
yeah, for not, it's like for nothing, really. Especially when you can beat it right there, and it's just a good time. To it's a good Paula. time to get some levels on Paula, yeah, for sure. But now I think we're we're heading in. I'm ready to get through Tucson because we're heading into more of my favorite part of this game. Yeah, Anything Jeff? after Jeff? Yeah, Jeff, and then. He's well, like comes in, yeah, pretty much to finish off the week. Yeah, well, we do barely anything in three, but then we get to go to Saturn Valley. Oh, yeah, and go face what? Master Belch. Yeah, Master <laughs> Jacob, you gotta silence that phone. Fault. It was a good reminder to me because I don't think my volume's on mine, so there you go. Well, I'm not talking to anybody, sorry. Well, other than you guys. <laughs> so I think, just overall, like, we're just excited about getting this going. Try to make content for you guys out there. Everybody that wants to watch us. You know, just have a fun time with us. Because that's all we want to do here. Yeah. Is have fun. I think that's all. That's the only thing you can do going into something like this or yeah. starting. Yeah, exactly. Is everything just, else will come as you go. You just want to have fun. Like that's the whole point of doing this kind of stuff. Like create creating content and doing YouTube stuff. See, this is where we're already getting to know that we're going to meet somebody else. I think as we... Yeah. No, that was that was Paula doing that. She she got a little PSI signal and said, Don't worry, Dad. We're getting all of these things. And I think here, like, trying to move forward, <clears throat> as much as we like further parts of the game, we're to try to limit um, some of the spoiler things. Yeah, I'll try. I barely remember stuff as it is, so then I don't even know it's a spoiler until after I've already said it. I'm Not like, that it would This is where we're gonna do this, and you'll be like, uh, idiots. Well, not that we're expecting lots of people to not have seen this game because, you know, even though this is kind of an occult classic kind of thing, yeah. it's gotten more and more exposure out the last couple Especially years or from, so. Like, Smash and all that. Yeah. More modern day games with the characters from being in that game. Yeah. And that kind of helps to get some needed exposure this game needed. Back when we first played this... No one knew about it. No. It was not something that people had talked about. Anything. No, no kids our age knew anything. When I said, oh, I'm playing Earthbound, they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Because everyone else was just like, Mario and Donkey Kong. Yeah. Especially when it came to SNES stuff. Yeah. You know, or Blink to the Past, you know, all those, the big games. Star Fox. Yeah, I, I never really played Star Fox. No, it wasn't anything that we ever had. No. We had a lot of other weird games. <laughs> yeah, sure, plenty of weird games. <laughs> that I don't know where we got them from, or just... Pickles! Most of our games that we had are ones that our parents were able to get cheaply. Yeah, or be paid for. Yes. This is one that just kind of ended up in our possession. <laughs> yeah, it was from a friend. Yes, and it just kind of got left at our house, and yeah. eventually we just kind of had it. David played it more than the kid that brought it over in the first place. Yeah, I played it a ton. We gotta do this afterwards. Gotta go in and watch the show first. Present our ticket. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, thank you. Oh, use. Here we go. Are we excited? We're gonna be seeing our first Runaway 5 show. I would say yes, but I've seen this show lots of times. But it's still pretty good. 
And I just realized I spoiled because I said first, which means that we're going to be seeing them again. Which is true. <laughs> I didn't spoil it for me because I did not know that until after you said I was like, wait, is, yeah, we do watch him again. It just... I forget all the names. There's only five guys in the dressing room, but it will be weird when we go out onto the stage because there will be more than five guys. Like Whether this, I feel this... like we talk about five guys a lot. Whether it be the restaurant or just there <laughs> being five guys. Well, they're, it's both good. Well, and we're also from a family who you, we each have we have five brothers. Yeah. So there you go. There's six of us, so we have five brothers. So there's not five total, but you have five brothers and I have five brothers. Yeah. So because I'll... you don't count yourself. <laughs> That's why we're the runaway five. <laughs> But there's six of us, see? Just like on the stage right now. Yeah. The name always throws everything off. Man, those are some pretty giant microphones on top of those stands. They're definitely old school. Very old school. They look like a freaking jug. And this is obviously kind of a play on like the Blues Brothers and yeah. such. This song never got stuck in my head. Maybe no. you don't hear it for that long. I like where you hear like the town music and all the other stuff all the time, like constantly. Yeah, for sure. This is kind of just this is a one-time thing. Listen to Once it. in a while. And they're loosely based on some other kind of songs. Yeah. And we are done. We still have the problem of leaving Tucson, though. Because as of right now, there's no way for a bus to leave. Because now we're all finished with everything, but we go try to take the bus, and we can't leave. So we're going to go try to do that, just so you guys can see. If you'd have tried to leave earlier, <coughs> it wouldn't work then either. Do I have money? I have 52 bucks, that's enough. Oh, I also want to step in here to get some pizza. They don't sell pizza here. They only deliver. This is the only way you're going to be able to get the number. If you don't do it now, you won't be able to get it later. Go ahead and check the bus stop here. That's really convenient. It comes right away. Yeah. Let's try going to three. That's worse than that. We have to go next to meet our next member of our party. And this part would be tricky if you didn't know the proper order of things and what you had to do. Um, because you would get to this point and not be able to leave town because you get stopped. So if you don't go to talk to Everdread and get the water bills, and then don't know exactly what to do with those water bills, you wouldn't know what to do next yeah. and how to get past this part. So you see, we go out the tunnel to leave, and we end up back. The ghosts get us and the send us back. Tunnel. No, I don't want to get out there. Please take me back. There's a I present got, there that I we can got get. There, so just for that present, though. It's a, like a skip sandwich or something, yeah. so. So you eat it immediately so you can get back to town faster. Yeah. There's... Not really helpful in this case. This is the only part I actually know how to do. Yeah. <laughs> the next I know it involves. Yeah. Okay, so who else did we see that we had any kind of transport out of here? I remember there was a bus up here. Blue cop running around. He was stuck on another person. Yeah, I saw that. Huh, that looks... Maybe it's the Runaway Fives bus. And we heard this... The... Mr. Poochie Fudd. That's actually the guy's name. That's Mr. Poochie name? Fudd, yes. It looks like... Porky's dead. I mean, 
Pokey's dead. <laughs> yes, not for See, they owe him a bunch of money. Let's take this water bills and see if he'll take it. He did. No, if Runaway 5 are free to leave, maybe they'll be kind enough to see if we can use their bus and get out of here. It's weird because the the keyboard player doesn't go with them, but maybe it is for maybe the future shows, maybe just an in-house and it's the same one in the next theater. Maybe he's a traveling in-house keyboard. <laughs> Pianist, I mean. Oh, their bus is too loud? Okay. See, this time you can say yes, and if you don't get on the bus, we can go pretty much anywhere. And there's not going to be guys. There's not going to be enemies. That's so really you could convenient. do this and go all the way to, if you hadn't fought Mondo Mole yet, you could go all the way in and fight Mondo Mole, because he'll be there, be no but no enemies. enemies will be anywhere else. You can see we haven't had anything I here. I did not know that at all. Because of what the game's state is in. Yeah, it's um, just there's no guys. On the bus. Yeah, like there's just nothing else here, so we can go run around all over the place. Well, we don't have that much freedom because yeah, because you can't go to the next city. So yeah, we can go back to we can go back to Happy Happy Village, or we can go to Onet That's and not have idea. guys anywhere. See. I'm sure there's no enemies. I could probably take more advantage of this. Yeah. But that's just, you know, showing a cool little fun thing. I mean, that'd be make fighting the mole pretty easy, but I mean, you might as well just fight him when you're there anyway. Yeah. You're already, like, in right next to the tunnel entrance. But it's cool if you wanted to sh just yeah, do it for fun. Yeah, just fight them all after you get all the way back and do all the setups and just when you get back to town you just leave and then you're ready to go it's just a fun thing I just find it interesting and it's not the only time because there's other times and there's purpose like there'll be purposely placed enemies and stuff in certain cases to like reset the game from a stage like this you'll be in a stage of, you know, it's the game's not set right, and they'll put a purposeful enemy to just kind of reset the game and set it back to how it's supposed to be. Now we'll just go. Oh, we have to talk to him again. And on we go. Yay, we're almost to Jeff. Whoa! Not good driving. A good parker. I mean, driver. Oh, a good parker. Dang. Sometimes that dog will be in front of the bus and you go right through the dog. The one time that anyone doesn't just immediately stop and if you have on the road. Yeah. You see, their bus has cool. It says runaway on the side. You'll see when it turns out. Well, I think it is. It's pretty good that you can make it out on there and they purposely did that, you know? A certain degree, and it looks like you can tell it says run away. Like, like, it, it's it's, it's run away. No, it looks like for high, for high, I don't think you're pronouncing that right. See, we're for high, for high, for high, yeah, it's being pronounced right now. And this is the gloomy town of three. Dark and threed. Well, it's gloomy. Dark. <laughs> well, they just said they're going to some place with more sunshine. Exactly. Places that aren't dark. Well, it's not night out. It's just gloomy. They're real gloomy. Oh, I thought that was a fake trash can for a second. No, just plain garbage. Go in here. Let's get a little more money out. I only have like 50 bucks. Yeah, two thousand dollars. We'll grab a grand. But the guy behind the stores right there sells some stuff that's pretty expensive. Nothing we need right now. Well, yeah, because no one can use it yet. 
Well, I think he sells like bombs. We can use those. Oh yeah. Let's just equip up here. Thick fry pan. I know how you make a thick fry pan versus a regular fry pan. Couldn't tell you the difference. Maybe this one's one, cast iron, one's and the other one was just a non-stick. Yeah, one's like a stainless steel, and one's an actual iron. And everybody else is good to go. She doesn't need... I guess they did sell copper bracelets in Happy yeah, Happy you Village. Bought, yeah, you bought them one already. I forgot they did sell those there. It's gonna be a really heavy so Now we man. just gotta... I don't know what to do here. What's going on? Why is it so gloomy? We'll talk to this guy just so you guys can see. It's like an arms dealer. Yeah, he sells. Good he sells gun stuff, uh, bombs, bottle rockets, and such things like that. He'll come in more to play once we have Jeff. I have a circus in town. Jeff's the smart kid. What's here? It look like a very fun circus. Zombies. Got zombies going on here. I don't know if hiding out in a circus tent's the best way. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to avoid gonna... a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I don't know how helpful that would be. There's a snake. He's not Maybe they have a snake apocalypse. Yeah. Hopefully. Didn't look like I a zombie snake. Did, it looked pretty easy because he ran away from you. Yes. Oh. Those. Ah! Those he just are... ghosted. Not what, right through the fence? I mean, they're not supposed to do that, but technically is a ghost. Oh, I hate these guys, too. A ghost that looks like he has buck teeth somehow. Oh, throw. No, don't call for help. Can't remember if Freeze is good on these guys or not. Nope, yes it is. <laughs> nope, yes it is. I was like, yeah, 315 damage is pretty good. Oh, good. Just a regular attack. Um, as their name says, Zombie Possessor, they can possess you with a mini ghost. That is annoying as all get out. Leveling up. Yeah, that wasn't a very good level up, though. Oh, I got PSI Magnet Alpha. Do you ever use that in this game? Um, no, I usually main maintain my PP well enough that I don't need to use it all that often. Go ahead and open this trash can. Oh. I know there's one that's gonna eventually not be a trash can. Yeah, we we saw them when he was with the ghost. Whoa, zombies! Stares into my soul. They look like they want to eat me. Let's just leave. I forget what you need here to get past that. Um, we're not gonna be able to get past it right now. Uh, it's, oh, that won't be until after you. Yeah. Get Jeff. See, there's a there's a moving yeah, there trash is can. The uh, oh, yeah, that's there's... really bad. Who's yep. this guy? He wasn't here before. Chicken from their hotel. Hmm. He'd like to spend some time. Uh, oh, what are you shoot. doing? Who's now, this weird now lady? I, now it all makes sense to me. Where, where is everybody in the hotel? Why is it see? It's funky, isn't it? Oh crap! <laughs> oh, that's no good. Uh, we're not gonna win. Oh, what's happening? No, oh, they just knocked us out. What nice zombies! Oh, we're losing consciousness. What could be the fate? Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh man. Trapped in here. Well, we'll see what fate awaits for us in the next episode. See what we can do to try to get out of this mess. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to involve a blonde haired kid with, kid with glasses. We can only hope. If you're excited to see the next one, make sure you smash that like button. Um, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Fager Bros Gaming. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.